Hi class, this is Brandon. I wanted to make a video to demonstrate a point that I had made on the website regarding our first patient. This is a diagram of the nerve fiber pattern in the clinical anatomy of the visual system by Leanne Remington. You'll note on this diagram that central fixation is located here. The nerve is located here representing approximately 15 degrees temporal to fixation meaning each of these concentric rings represents five degrees of the visual field. In our patient, the visual field showed a nasal step in the superior hemifield, approximately 30 degrees from fixation. In this diagram, that would represent six, six concentric rings out, which would be this location here. If we trace the nerve fibers that terminate at this location back to the uh, rim of the nerve, we reach the location at approximately 7 o'clock. The point I was making is, can we predict the area of rim thinning on an optic nerve based on the location of a visual field defect, or vice versa? Can we predict the location of a visual field defect based on where the rim is thinning? In the case of our patient, I felt that the 7 o'clock area of the rim in the right eye appeared to be one of the thinner areas on that nerve, and so it seems that th that is justified in our current patient. Thank you.